Hello, I'm Rufus and welcome to their Minecraft Bedrock tutorial. I have been enjoying all the love that you have shown to my free range iron farm design and I want to give you a treat in return. You see, I have been working on a secret iron farm design that makes all other iron farms obsolete. This farm is a simple build and produces so much iron that it will make you forget all the other iron farms that you have used in the past. I call it the impossible iron farm. Let's get building now, shall we? First, we need to go into nether before we can start building our iron farm. First thing you need to do is find an area above a lava lake. I already have the location that I will be using marked with glass. Here are the materials that you will need to build one module of the impossible iron farm. First thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to start placing our obsidian. So we're going to place one, two, 23 pieces of obsidian. We're also going to add uh, 23 pieces of obsidian going up. So that's two. 23. We're going to come over here and do the same. 23 pieces on this side as well. 23 and across the top. That's our 23 by 23 square of obsidian complete. And now I'm going to place dispensers and a redstone clock up top. So first we're going to place blocks like so. And we're going to knock out these two and replace them with dust. Next, we're going to repeat this on the other side. Knocking out temporary blocks and replacing them with dust. Now we're gonna place repeaters. We'll place a repeater there, a repeater here, a repeater here on three ticks, a repeater here, a repeater here and a repeater here on three ticks. On this side, we are going to place more redstone dust and a block. And on this side, we are going to place redstone dust and a observer facing downwards with a slime block on top of it. Next, we're going to place our dispensers underneath like so. Next, we're going to place a powdered snow bucket in one and an empty bucket in the other one. Next, we're going to place a sticky piston, a block, and a lever. And this will allow us to turn our clock on and off. Next, we're going to come down to the bottom. And on the west side of our blocks, we are going to place 15 observers. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're going to surround them with glass. In the middle, we are going to place a lava source, like so. Next, we are going to um, open up our drop chute here. Like so. And then place warped buttons on top of these observers. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Now that I've completed the first part of the iron farm, I will work on the collection system down below. And come down here, and I've already marked out the location under the drop chutes. We're gonna come down here and we're gonna place a double chest. Now we're going to skip five blocks, one, two, three, four, five on the six blocks, 
another double chest. One, two, three, four, five, six, another double chest, and one, two, three, four, five, six, another double chest. After that, we are going to place hoppers. Place three hoppers pointing into each chest. And then we're going to place more hoppers pointing into these hoppers. So we're going to fill this whole area with hoppers leading into our chests. Once we have all the hoppers laid down and leading into our chests, we are going to place some uh, pointed drip sting on the middle hopper. So we should be doing 25. One. And 25. So that is our collection system complete, and now it's time to turn on the farm. So to turn on our farm, come up here and flip this lever. When we turn on the farm, the dispensers up top will break the portal using powdered snow, and the lava down below will relight the portal. The portal will rapidly tick on and off, causing iron golems to spawn. The iron golems will fall down onto the pointed dripstone and die from magnified fall damage, and the hoppers will collect the drops. One module generates 20,000 iron ingots per hour, and if you hook five modules up, you will get 100,000 ingots per hour. This is 250 times more iron than a single village iron farm. If you build the impossible iron farm, let me know in the comments how it works for you. If you run into any problems, or if it simply doesn't work for you, let me know that as well. Don't forget to join my Discord, like that Dean button, and subscribe to my channel. So I'm Rufus, thanks for watching. Oh, and another thing, this farm only works if you build it on April 1st.